Hold on to your pets uh, and just stay away from the forest because we don't want to distract them or anybody to get hurt. So one thing that you're going to watch and see why he's riding, I want you to watch his head and his eyes as he's riding. On a motorcycle, it's very important. You want to look where you want the motorcycle to go, not where the motorcycle is going. So when you start seeing him doing these turns, especially when he starts doing this offset, see him looking where he wants the bike to go, not where the bike is, right? So as he makes his way through these gates, all these exercises stimulate some sort of U-turn. He might have to go back and catch a violator. He's going in and sort of going on his bike, which shows his arm. He's using his head and his eyes to look where he wants to go. degree to the left and he's out. All right, everybody give that a round of applause. Again, this is only a small, small demonstration on what, how tight these motorcycles can really maneuver through crowds. This is one of our best traffic weapons that we have to go out there. If you're just thinking anytime you've been on Palmetto or Glades where the traffic is at a dead stop because of a, a, a crash up ahead, Cars like myself, I can't get up there. These guys get right through the crowd and be able to get up there to render aid and to clear the road for you guys. So, um, so that's all we got for you guys. Just a small demonstration. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And uh, I just want to say, um, with me being from Massachusetts, we got to go going for number six tomorrow. Go Patriots! <laughs> okay, can we clear the cones? Let's clear the cones off the course.